Today we are going to set this bike free, so stick around. Hey guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron. And as I said today, we are going to set this bike free. This is 2019 Yamaha WR450, which I've uh, ridden and tested uh, with the stock form uh, on the, my uh, previous videos, and uh, I liked it. It was a cool bike, and it pulled nicely. It has very kind of soft, uh, mellow bottom, and then in the mid-range, it pulls nicely. So it is a cool bike and well-running bike, even in a stock condition. And uh, today, what I want to what I want to do is to Talk about everything that needs to be done to stack WR450 to open it up, to use the full potential of the bike and uh, to kind of unleash the beast. So first thing that uh, we need to do, there's, there's something called the free mods and it all, it's been already done on this bike and there are the three major things that you guys can do for free in your garage and there is a bunch of videos online, I'm gonna share some pictures and it's not difficult to do, you don't need any special tools, nothing like that, just remove the restriction. So there are three things, first is your uh, throttle stop, so on WR450 when you, when you buy it brand new from, from the dealer, you cannot... Uh, crank open the throttle fully. It only allows you to open it like one third. So there are two thirds of the throttle that you cannot use, you cannot access because your throttle stop screw is too big in your uh, throttle body. It's just too big so it doesn't allow you to crank it open fully. So all you need to do is to take the old screw out, the long one, and then replace it with a short one that will allow you to use full range of your throttle, hands, you know, use uh, full RPM and go all the way to rev limiter. You know, easy way to find out if you have it done or not is uh, go full throttle and see if you can hit a rev limiter on your bike. If it doesn't hit that rev limiter, then for sure you, you don't have it done yet or your, your throttle stop is still a little bit long. All right, so the second thing would be, since this bike is choked and doesn't breathe very, we very well, uh, you know, in the air box, there's something called a snorkel or some people call it like a T, uh, tea kettle, it, it's the plastic thing that prevents air from flowing into the, uh, you know, into your air box and uh, all you need to do just remove the, the screws, pick, uh, pick out the, the backfire screen and from the other side you have this snorkel, you can just break it off and that would allow a lot of air to flow into your air box. On YZs and uh, FX, the YZ FX, you don't have those snorkels, it's only on WR. So. You can just wiggle it, break it, or use a use a knife to cut off on like six points. I think it's holding, and get rid of that thing that would allow your bike to breathe better. So that's when you suck air in, and then uh, at the end when you are letting off of the of the of the gas through your throttle, um, through your exhaust, you also have something in the exhaust like this little baffle that is. Uh, preventing and it's kind of small hole and it's preventing the, uh, the exhaust gas to go out. Also doesn't allow your bike to breathe well. So you can, you can drill it out and remove that little baffle or whatever you call it that is inside in the exhaust so that would allow you to open the bike. So right now this uh, 2019 450 is open with those free mats. So we did all these uh, three free mats uh, on the bike and uh, all the videos you saw, I'm gonna share some footage, uh, it's done like that and it, it runs pretty good and I would say to maybe like a, if you are somewhere in a novice and you you know don't really want to have like a crazy fast bike then just keep it like that and it's a really good bike like that, I enjoyed it a lot, I could do a track, I could jumbo everything on the vet we have over here and also uh, I enjoyed it a lot on the trails. But uh, I can tell that the, the bottom is very soft and it can use a little bit more punch. And I can hear when I start it, I'm gonna start it on the video later, I'll show you. You can hear that on the bottom, it's it's not uh, the bike is not happy. It's like something is choking it. It's like I think it's running too lean. I don't have any popping sound, but I I feel like the bike is just running too lean. So what we're gonna do today? We have these uh, mods from GYTR that uh, cost some money. So uh, you don't have to do everything. These free mods are free, and now we are going into spending some money. So 
full FMF system will cost you somewhere around 650 there. Uh, the, you know, the pipe is like 350 and the exhaust uh, around 300, something like that. If you go with aluminum, if you go with titanium, then it's a little more than that. But I think uh, this would uh, do a good job. It's like uh, $650 uh, for your exhaust. And many, many people, they put, uh, you know, FMF or some other exhaust on the bike anyway. So this would allow you to unlock a little bit more of the power. And once you do that, uh, I'm not sure how it would run on the stack ECU and we're gonna test it in the, in a later video to run all these things with the stack ECU. I think it would probably be too lean and it will be popping on the, on a D cell. So we're gonna test that. But um, right now what I want to do is uh, to also install the GYTR ECU. This is the competition ECU that uh, is supposed to be way better and uh, you know more rich uh, than your stack ECU and pair with this uh, GYTR exhaust. I think it would give us a really good performance. And uh, this ECU comes with two maps pre-programmed and uh, I got a switch that you can, you can switch between these two maps. So I'm gonna install the switch, I'm gonna install this uh, GYTR ECU this exhaust and fire it up and see how it sounds. I think it will sound way uh, healthier and just just better. I think you can you will be able to hear the difference on the video. And also we have this uh, GYTR CCU. This is something that allows you to connect to your smartphone and then switch the maps uh, from the smartphone. And you can see you can. This is like a communication unit uh, that will allow you to get all the uh, all the information from the bike. You will see how many hours is on the bike. You will see what kind of map you are running. It'll probably give you some error code also, some if, if you have it on the bike. Then, uh, so this is uh, something extra that you don't need to have. You can just install these things and still I think be pretty good. So what I want to do today, I'm not gonna install this because this is the most, the most expensive part out of this, uh, these three GYTR electronic parts. This one runs $300, the switch is like $90 and the ECU is like $149, something like that. So we're gonna do $149 and $91 together, it will bring us to uh, $240, something like that. And then the exhaust, so this $300, we're just gonna keep uh, maybe for next time and see how everything runs. If I don't get any, any popping, any backfire, nothing like that, and everything runs sweet, then uh, we're, not, we're not gonna install this one because, uh, you know, saving $300 is not a bad thing, right? All right, so let's get busy, install these things and see how WR runs. Just need to be careful with the disconnecting if you don't break anything. Should be an easy deal. There you go. This is our stack ECU P7R1. The GYTR ECU comes also with a, with a short uh, throttle stop screw. So if you get an ECU, you get the screw inside as well. And also there is a pretty nice instruction telling you what needs to be done to remove the restriction. So these are all the free mods that you can do in your garage. So they come, the instruction comes with the GYTR ECU. So you can do this and then install your ECU. We need to reuse these mounts from old ECU, take them out like that. They are in a rubber, easy to take out, and just push them in. Oh, the other way. Alright, there you go. Push it in till it clicks. There you go.
All right, let's put our tank back. New issue is in and this is the map switch that allows you to switch between two maps. And WR already comes uh, pre-wired for that. There is the connector right here. You need to take out the plug and push this one in. And then uh, just route your wires using kind of existing routing of the wires that go to the same place. So this is how I did it. I'm going to put it right on the top. Zip tie it nicely in just like that. This is the plug and you can tell it's the same design. This one goes right in. There you go. This uh, YZ, I mean, this WR450 has a kind of interesting, actually YZ2, interesting routing. So you actually do have a pipe from both sides of the engine. This is your left side and this is your right side. So it kind of wraps around the engine. Exhaust comes from the back, wraps around and then, and then goes up like that. So I already removed this uh, stack pipe right here that has uh, some uh, rings over here. The FMF only has the springs that holds it together. So I'm gonna remove this spring and install it one by one. It's a little bit tricky to get these little bolts from here. There's not a lot of uh, room, but uh, we, I was able to get it with like a different extensions and different elbows, so it's not too difficult. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the video of when it was all uh, you know old exhaust old ECU and now switch back and forth like a couple times you can see the difference you can hear the difference. Definitely uh, way better. Uh, it's louder for sure and then uh, you can just feel how now the, the bike really wants to rev and it, it follows the throttle immediately. I just touch it and it revs right you know after my throttle and it sounds very crisp and very healthy. Wow it, it really sounds like a, like an angry 450 now uh, to the point where I think it probably would be a little bit too much for me on the trails but anyway you know we're gonna take it uh, on the trails and have some fun and next video you guys can expect me to, uh, to have a lot of fun on this bike uh, and uh, I'm gonna report back and tell you you know what I feel uh, what's the difference between the, the stock setting and now with this GYTR stuff on. Alright guys well I guess that's about it for today this is what you need to do to your WR if you want to uh, unleash the beast if you want to open it up. Uh, it's about $900 to do everything and there are also these three uh, free uh, mods that you need to that you can do without spending any money and uh, if you put $900 into this bike then uh, you are just getting this beast and I think it will run really sweet but that we're gonna check in the next video. That's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated. See you guys later.